Hey guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. So last week we talked about the essential gear you need to begin wedding filmmaking. Today we're gonna go into the top five pieces of gear that I love to use on every single wedding shoot. So let's get started. Number one, Steadicam. So my most all time favorite piece of equipment to use on a wedding day is a motorized Steadicam. They're also known as a glide cam, gyro, gimbal, fly cam, the list goes on. This thing will actually smooth the motion down to give you a really cinematic quality in your footage and also gives you the speed and versatility that you need on a wedding day. It takes a little while to get used to, but once you have it nailed down, your productions will never be the same. Number two, monopod. So the piece of equipment I use the entire day is a monopod. It's quick to use, it's easy to maneuver, and you're actually able to get really smooth close-up orbiting shots if you use it the right way. It also doubles as a tripod, so when you need to lock down and have a steady shot, you're able to do that as well. It takes a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get past that curve, a monopod is something you're going to use on every single shoot, probably throughout the entire day. Number three, sliders. Sliders add another element of movement that cannot easily be achieved by a steady cam or a monopod. This particular model is the Wing 7 by Edelkrone. It's super compact, extremely quick to set up, and eliminates the need for a second stand or tripod. I'll have a link to Edelkrone's website in the description below. Number four, drones. Drones seem to be on every filmmaker's list nowadays, but it's how you use it that determines if you're a professional or an amateur filmmaker. Drones are not a main camera. Drones are simply a fancy B-roll camera. So a drone is really used to establish where everything is taking place at. You want the viewers to know the location of where you're doing it, and a drone is a perfect tool to use that for. It adds a different level of production value to your videos, but you just need to use it in moderation. Number five, ring light. So a ring light is probably one of my most favorite investments to date. I specifically use it for the hair and makeup portion on a wedding day. Now since it's a ring light, and it's used by hairstylists and makeup artists, it looks like it's supposed to be a part of the day. So when you're shooting, you can actually have that ring light in the background and it's not gonna throw the viewer off. It's not gonna look like it's fake. So that's the reason why I love using these ring lights. All right guys, so those are my top five pieces of filmmaking equipment that I love to use on a wedding day. Each one of them have their own little learning curve associated with them, but once you go ahead and know the basics, you should be able to get past those pretty quickly. So as always guys, I definitely appreciate you all watching. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll go ahead and have a link in the description to all the pieces of equipment that I went over. So until next time guys, later.